I've seen what a big step surgery is. So to get an idea of what a new and improved me might look like without full anaesthetic, I've had a virtual makeover. Thank you. It's the weirdest, weirdest delivery I've ever had. With the help of 3D imaging technology, I've created two life-size versions Oh, it's so weird. of myself. One cutout is me right now, completely natural, warts and all. The other, who I'll call Cheryl, has had a digital nip and tuck, a realistic image of how I would look if I'd had around £20,000 worth of cosmetic procedures. I can see that her skin is so much firmer and the lines have gone, that her lips are bigger, her chin is, is sharper. And if we move down to this area, you, you may not be able to see the difference, but I'll just explain it in case. These have got bigger. I mean, you could, you could balance your dinner on them. She's had a tummy tuck there. So aesthetically, the amended Cheryl looks better just to be frank. The question is, what is the difference between what's going on inside their heads? Is she getting more jobs? Does she have uh, more friends? Is she getting out of bed in the morning and skipping to work? Does she sing to the squirrels? I don't know. The more I look at her, in a way, the more alluring she becomes. And that's my dilemma. Am I going to go under the knife? Having this kind of overhaul is still quite unusual in the UK. So now I want to visit a country where plastic fantastic is totally normal and no one raises an eyebrow. What exactly does that look like? Well, it looks a bit like this. Brazil. Just a 12-hour flight, but a million miles away when it comes to how they worship the body beautiful and have embraced whatever it takes to achieve it. There are definitely lots of normal, lovely bodies here, but there are some cracking bottoms. Lots of thongs, lots of bouncing boobs, tiny waists, juicy butts. They wear a thong like I wear a pair of jeans. Like, your naked body is your outfit here. I very rarely take off my clothes. But here, people go to work and then they go to the beach. So, no matter what, it's very likely that at some part of the day, someone's going to judge your body. 